Laura, I also really enjoyed the chapters you spent talking about the weekend and how different successful, effective, productive people organize intentionally their weekends. You call it the power, the paradox of the weekend. Uh, expand on that for us. So, you know, if you have a during the week job, your the bulk of your leisure time is going to happen on weekends. Um, but weekends are real days. And this is actually quite a bit of time. I think the, the number I use is that there's 60 hours between you know, that 6 p.m. Friday beer and that 6 a.m. Monday morning wake up, right? And, and even if you're sleeping for, for 24 of those hours, that's still 36 waking hours for you know, family and leisure and other things like that, you know, your chores as well, perhaps. But the bulk of that time could be spent on these sort of non-work activities. And yet we often have this idea that like, oh, I don't want to plan my leisure time. It sounds like so much work to plan my leisure time and think about it and conjures up all these, you know, absurd ideas of like setting, you know, planning every 15 minutes like you would during the workday or sending Outlook invites for dinner or something ridiculous like that. There's so much space between planning every minute and planning nothing. Those are false choices. What I encourage people to do is think of a couple what I call anchor events um, to think about putting into their weekend ahead of time. And that way you have something to look forward to so we can get that anticipatory pleasure we talked about earlier. And so also you can end the weekend feeling like I've done something. I have these memories. This time didn't just disappear into puttering around the house and watching TV.